Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing my updated go-to makeup look. I have been getting so many requests for you guys to see my latest updated makeup look and I was like, okay, let me let me just sit down and do it for y'all. I feel like it's been a while since I've done like an updated makeup routine. Um, not to say that I do this look every single day. I definitely do this look on the days where I do do my makeup, which is mainly like two to three times a week, unless I have like a whole week of filming or something like that. Um, it's really rare that I'm in makeup every single day, but if I am, this is like my go-to look. This is basically like my soft glam go-to everyday look. Before we jump into the makeup look, I do want to shout out our sponsor for today, which is Majuri. I'm constantly getting asked about my jewelry, whether if it's on Instagram or here on my channel, even sometimes TikTok too. I always like to kind of update you guys on pieces that I'm wearing and pieces that I'm loving because honestly, my entire jewelry collection is literally Majuri. Most of my stuff, it's so funny, I love gold and I love diamonds, <laughs> but I like the more like minimal, a very subtle, simple kind of gal. So I love little tiny diamonds. So for the first time ever, Majuri is actually putting together a diamond week sale. So everything on their website that has diamonds in it is going to be 15% off. You say diamonds and then you say sale and I'm like drooling. I'm gonna just quickly run through the pieces that I just recently got in that are diamonds so that if you're interested in picking up any pieces from them, you should definitely take advantage of it because you only have a week to do it and it's all 15% off. Well, first off, I'm gonna show you guys my necklace stack that I have going on. The little simple one right here. That is the diamond necklace. It has a very dainty diamond in it while hanging on this really beautiful thin gold chain. You can also adjust the sizing on the chain so you can have it a little shorter. I also have this Majuri chain and then I have these charms that I picked up obviously for me and my daughter, Alaya. Just our initials right here. I put that on a chain. You can actually take these off and even put them on like dainty huggy hoops. I love the font that they chose. It's still really classic, but very pretty. It's a perfect size. And then these two rings I also picked up, which I stacked together. So pretty, it's so funny. Somebody asked me if this was my wedding band set. And I guess it technically could be. This is the diamond bar stacker ring. So this is one that you can just stack on any one of your rings, which is what I usually will do. And then this particular one, I can't remember exactly the name of it, but it's also just really pretty gold ring. And it also has just like this really pretty little tiny diamonds throughout it. So overall together when it's stacked, it's just so pretty. And then of course I just have my regular eternity ring which I have stacked on my everyday rings. And then this one, which is like their half eternity ring or something. It just has the diamonds going half of it. I also have their diamond bar bracelet. This was so pretty. I feel like it just gives like tennis, tennis bracelet vibes. That That is actually on my list is the diamond, their diamond tennis bracelet. It's so pretty. And then like layered with this, just having a few of them kind of layered together. So pretty. I'll have the sizes, um, the lengths of all the jewelry that I picked out. But for time's sake, I'm not gonna go over the Majuri earring stack just because I constantly am talking about it. But if you're interested, I'll have it linked down below for you guys. But yeah, take advantage of the Diamond Week sale. What girl doesn't love diamonds, let alone diamonds on sale? Thank you to Majuri for sponsoring this portion of today's video. And with that being said, you guys, let's jump into the makeup look. I'm gonna go in with the face primer from Ref Eye. And I don't always do a face primer, but, oops. I do like to use this one. It's probably the most unique primer I've used. It definitely leaves your skin super dewy. It just leaves the skin really dewy and ready for the rest of your makeup. For contour today, I either go between the Contour Wand from Charlotte Tilbury. This one's really hard to find sometimes, so I try to link it for you guys. I usually like to use products um, that are in stock that you guys can find. So this is the Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick from Mario, and mine is in the shade Medium Dark. I to do my contour before my concealer. You can clean up the contour while you're concealing. So that's personally why I like to go in with it. I always thought it was like crazy people doing that, but it actually makes a lot of sense. See how like it's already going down way below my contour? I mean my cheekbone. So I just blend this in. And then I always do a little bit in my right here, like 
going upwards just to kind of give that lifted effect. So now I'm using my Sephora brush. This is the uh, Pro Foundation brush number 56. I forgot I ordered food, you guys. Wow. You guys, I ordered like my lunch, my Uber Eats, like not even that long ago. And I've already forgotten. I started filming and now it's just sitting at my door. I probably should go get it in a second. I'll be right back. All right, there was like a hundred things at my door, but <clears throat> it's all okay. So now that my contour is on, pimple just came through. This is the Revealer Concealer by Kosas. Put this where I need to conceal or correct. I feel like that is going to be able to, probably didn't need to use so much, but it's okay. So now I'm going to go in with my beauty blender. This is basically Mary Phillips coined foundation based routine she likes to use on her clients. If you guys don't know who Mary Phillips is, she is Hailey Bieber and JLo and um, Vanessa Hudgens and Kendall Jenner's makeup artist. She's incredible. Really loving this foundation a lot. It's the Studio Radiance Face and Body Foundation. I got mine in C. Five. I don't know if this is totally my right shade, but you know, we'll try to make it work. I always put it in my hand like this. Really don't need a lot. And overall, because you have a lot of the coverage done already, this is just essentially supposed to kind of marry everything together and doing it really lightly. And the other thing she says is use a super fluffy powder brush like this, which is like, who would have ever thought? Um, so I'm just going to put my brush in this. And then I'm going to just start to focus on the middle of my face. And I like this foundation. I also love my Chantecai one. Um, I do kind of wish the Chantecai one was in a squeezy type product and not like a tub. Hard to travel with sometimes. And I don't know, this is just easier. It's in a squeezy tube like this. Quickly going to apply some brow gel. This is the Kosas Air, Air Brow. I've been gravitating towards this brow gel a lot because um, it's a very light um, and liquidy product. It's not like waxy or thick like some other brow gels, which I do like, but for the everyday, I personally like something that is very easy to blend out and as I'm applying it I don't have to work really quickly because some products I have to work so fast with my brows and I'm so meticulous with my brows that sometimes I'll come back later and mess with them. For my pimple I'm going to use the um, NARS, what is this, the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in medium dark 1.5. I like using it down my nose sometimes too. I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier translucent honey powder. I'm going to take my beauty blender and just a cap full amount and I'm going to take like this much but I'm going to tap it on the back of my hand. This allows the product like any extra product to come off the sponge and just give you minimal amount of product. Wet beauty blender really just helps to blend it in and make it look super natural. So I love this technique. I saw Patrick Ta doing it and Obviously, I just had to try it and it's been so great. Okay, right, for powder bronzer, I'm going to use Max Give Me Sun. I don't know when I started becoming obsessed with this product again, but all I can tell you is that I am obsessed with it. Brush like this, I will blend. I remember back in the day when not everybody was on YouTube. This was definitely like a cult following product that people would use and it was just a super pop popular product. I'm going to use the shade Woodwinked. In the pan it looks kind of like dark gray brown but when you put it like look at it on my hand it turns out to be very like gold and just so pretty. So I love using this color. I think it's so stunning. Put this all over my lids and then I'm going to take a blending brush of course. I'm going to use the shade Beach Babe. I'm going to take some of this warm it on the back of my hand. This is just what I've been doing lately is using the back of my hand a lot. Sunburnt shade but goes with a lot of colors. I like how it has like a pop of pinky peach color. It's just so pretty. I love this color. I'm going to take a little bit more with a um, blending brush. 
I'm gonna take my um, brow whiz and I'm just gonna go from the top and work my way to the tail. and take my Ilia Limitless Mascara. If you have not tried the Ilia Mascara, you guys, you have to try it. I'm saying this to you as your friend, like I will not steer you in the wrong direction, especially with the amount of times I talk about this mascara. It is truly the best. Oh, like look at this. Are you like, it's real. Okay, I'm gonna take Hot Gossip. And I'm just gonna line my lip. I'm gonna take this color from Laura Mercier. It's like this giant chubby crayon looking thing. And this one is in the color me, sorry, Leah. And they're so easy to apply. And we're going to go in with my favorite lip gloss. It's the Tower 28 Almond Lip Gloss. Oh my god, I just realized I didn't even do my highlight. This is the Nude Sticks Nudies. Uh, it's like their little mini travel one in the shade Bubbly Bebe. And I like to just apply like this. It's just very easy to apply. Take a little bit finger just kind of warm it up and then just do it right here I don't really like to do too much just enough to give a really pretty glow I just do it like on the outer portion of my orbital bone because I find that like this looks prettier than like this I'm gonna use this Dior palette that I've had forever it's the Glow Face Palette in 001 Universal, and I'm going to take these two shades. This one's broken. It keeps popping out of the pan. Take these two, just kind of mix them together, and then I'm going to put it right on the cheeks. I'll use the lighter gold shade for on top of that Bebe color, and then I'll take a little bit of this and just dust it right there. I'm going to take my Freck, and I'm just going to enhance my freckles that I have here already and add some to the side of my nose right here I'm gonna take this um, dark brown Anastasia just to extend my eye just a little bit could you even see what I did that is something I always do is just add a little bit of something right there for you know the day to day and then I will go in with the backstage Dior and just do a little bit right on the apples in the nose get right on the I just call it like the high point of my crease which is like the roundy part <laughs> this roundy part right here Lastly, let's set the face. Alrighty, so that's pretty much it for today's look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and seeing my updated go-to makeup look. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I will link everything I used in today's video down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!